Oh! everybody how's it going welcome back i'm dusty mac and thanks for joining me again on my tv reaction series today we are still watching killing eve this one is season three episode six it's called end of game so i'm assuming this is the one where villanelle and eve join forces and fight the avengers <laughs> so dumb they get their ass kicked villanelle might take out like hawkeye or something but yeah, they're, they're dead. I actually had a favor I wanted to ask you guys. This is uh, two episodes away from the end of season three. I'm going to be completely caught up with Killing Eve until they decide to release season four sometime in the future. So I need to replace Killing Eve in a couple weeks, right? And that's where you come in. On my Twitter, there is a poll that I pinned to the very top about show replacements. I will be replacing Killing Eve pretty soon and also Lucifer. So the top two choices will be replacing Killing Eve and Lucifer. I believe some of the choices are like Fleabag, Rush, Invincible. Modoc, Queen's Gambit, shows like that. There's a whole list of them. Uh, the top two choices are going to be replacing Killing Eve on Wednesday and Lucifer on Friday. So uh, be sure to go check that out and uh, follow along if you want to know about updates to the channel and things like that about when I'm going to start streaming. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. Well, kind of, because I do need your input. Today we are continuing off on Killing Eve. This one is Season 3, Episode 6, as I said, end of game. And uh, last time was basically just Villanelle reuniting with her family killing most of her family actually no she didn't kill most of her family because those guys weren't related to her and her brother and her i guess that her stepbrother basically they're both live so they're fine so uh villanelle did good last episode i mean she still murdered people that were technically innocent and they're assholes but they were innocent but we didn't like them they deserve to die <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're just going to keep on with uh, the Killing You train. So if you like this reaction, please like and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it tells you when my next video comes out, usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also stream whenever I have some time. I guess let's just get right into Killing Eve 3x6. That's hard to say. 3x6. <laughs> let's do it. Back in London. Every time I visit, he's asleep. Just let him be dead. What Don't more can you do to this poor <laughs> fucking man? Come the fuck on! And he getting better, but he must avoid all stress. So leave. <laughs> Your stress. First time I meet you, I tell him, don't marry her. She will make your life a total nightmare. <sighs> How the fuck did he survive? Like, she just crumpled and was crying when we saw her, and he was, like, spewing blood from his neck wounds where he was stabbed by a goddamn pitchfork like what why are you alive nico it's so good to see your eyes i'm gonna find out why this happened to you piss off <laughs> forever yes nico that's the only appropriate thing to say to her Ni nous, is it like me or something? I don't think me nous is me. <laughs> what is me nous? Is that vagina? Welcome. Let's sit over there, shall we? Hey, meetings have biscuits. <laughs> I've been watching you. You're remarkable. Are you trying to seduce me? What is your name? Hélène. Do you know why I wanted to meet you? To watch me some more? I wanted to tell you face to face that your request has been successful. She's a keeper it's now? Official. To Villanelle, the keeper. <laughs> Hell yeah, she works so hard to get here. Your first assignment in your new role is very exciting. A politician. I was told I would be giving orders. This is the same stuff I was doing before. This is bullshit. You get all the material perks you were expecting. What more do you want? Enjoy Romania. So she just got like a, a raise. She didn't actually get the promotion? The texts weren't from Nico. Villanelle must have sent them. Making Eve go to Poland. See her husband being pitchforked. She's Sorry. right there, dude. She knows she can't touch him. She's saying she still got it. If she still didn't have it, he'd be dead and not just pitchforked. Tact, bro. Sorry. What's this? Bertha Kruger. Wife of Charles. Countant for the Twelve. Killed in Lyon. Last week. Killed a vending machine. <laughs> you okay? You know that it would be okay if you're not. Okay. Two in a row? Aside from Kenny and being lured to Poland because you thought your husband wanted you back and really it was just to see him being punctured. Two in a row is that right. reference to Kenny and Nico? All your friends. Shut the break. fuck up, Sometimes. dude! Like, what are you doing? 
Dasha Dizran. Gymnast. Who supposedly works for the KGB. Why would Villanelle imitate her? Where is this? In Barcelona. The city. Barcelona. It teaches we kids to do roly polies. <laughs> what? E. Okay, that's Carolyn's house. I was gonna say, you're not gonna go straight to Barcelona, are you? <laughs> that's a little reckless even for you. E. Tell me everything about Dasha Dizran. I first met her and she had just been kicked out of the KGB. And before she sat down, she plucked a lemon from a tree and took the most enormous bite out of it. <laughs> Rind and all. Such a power move. Crazy. I but... think she's running Villanelle out of Barcelona. Villanelle and Dasha. Volatile. Dasha knows where Villanelle was last week. I don't think she was the one who attacked Nico. She was in Lyon at the time, killing Bertha Kruger. You're thinking of going to Barcelona. Yeah, Someone that's exactly tried to kill what she's my thinking. husband. I intend to find out who. But if it's the 12 Eve, does it really matter who? I could say the same about Kenny. Just be very careful of Dasha. She was the KGB's top assassin until she killed one of their own. I mean, that's why she was exiled. Hmm. Did Dasha kill Villanelle's father? I'm calling that right now. I don't want to see Constantine die, but if he's the one that killed Kenny... <laughs> I was gonna say it's sweet he's at his daughter's hockey game, but what are you doing? I love hockey, everything is good. I was the other team. <gasps> Go other team! <laughs> what is going on? Your plan to get out? I'm in. How was your trip? Turns out I'm excellent at dunks going. <laughs> and your mother? That actually makes her feel so No, and now she deserved it. Of course she deserved it. Everyone's mother deserves it. <laughs> But you're not supposed to do it. You were supposed to grow up and realize she isn't about. actually evil. I don't want to She's talk just about insane. it! Where are we going? It's too dangerous for us all to go together. Constantine, please. I sent for you. That's happened to Can't her a couple together. times before. We'll go. Then you can send for Irina. Once we are safe, you come, I promise. Don't believe you. Don't let them see you even think about getting out. They kill you the second they realize that. Because of her! I just scored in the final minute and you missed it! He's a really shit father. You should run away. What is she doing here? <laughs> I'm planning her travel arrangement. I'm not going if she's with us. Great! Problem solved. When do we leave? I don't think you really want this. You know what it means? You have to leave everything. The clothes, apartment, and her. I know. Don't let them see something's up. I'll act totally normal. Then they definitely know something's up. To the matter at hand. Calls to and from Kenny's work phone the two days before he... Died. There are several incoming and outgoing calls to a Russian number. I'll leave you to go over it all. Ah, oh, it's hello, Carolyn's Carolyn. office. <laughs> Time for PE. <laughs> Do you think you could manage to get those phone records to me? Scotland Yard dragging their feet as per. Shouldn't be too much longer. Are you working for them, Paul? Excuse me? Are you, Carolyn? Why on earth would you ask me that? The same reason you ask me. Because we don't trust each other. Should I? Heavens, no. <laughs> None of us are to be trusted. That's why we work here. Quite. Best be off, I have an appointment. Carolyn, this is your office. That's a very good light. Here, Sonnochka, it's your bed. I'll buy you something. What are you doing, Kiss? I know that now there's a special place for you. You're all alone, you're all alone. If you don't want to come, I'll close. And here's Villanelle. That's your boyfriend? My mom's boyfriend. Is he a pervert? He's just really, really nice. You want to bunk off? Do you think I'm dumb? I'm not going anywhere with you. It'll be fun. You can do anything you want. I, I do. <laughs> I do want Villanelle to be her handler. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm willing that into existence right now. <laughs> You'll need me to help you translate. Piss off! I'm fluent in Spanish! Spanish? You're not coming with us. The heat will be awful. We'll have to wax all the time. You're so old. People don't just wax anymore. Where is your dad? London. So you're stuck with your mom. Moms are the worst. You know how annoying it is when you have to be around two people in love? Ugh. Imagine one of those people is your mom. It's disgusting. <laughs> He's disgusting. Is that bad? Kill him. You're a real role model, you know that? <laughs> Humidity in South America will not be kind to that hair. Cuba's in North America, you idiots! You idiot! Cuba! Cuba! 
<laughs> you are totally delusional. She got it out of her. Not Cuba. <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? This is nice. Is it? Are we going somewhere in particular? Yes. Are you going to tell me where? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love his laugh. What are you doing? Just give me your wallet. What the hell are you doing? What did you want with my child? I swear, I tried nothing. She kissed me. Gerald kissed you. Why did Kenny call you the night before he died? Constantine? Constantine. Okay. What did you get him into? I don't know what this is or what you... Tell me. He asked if I was his father. Hey. Did I call that? How did you tell him? I told him I didn't know. Did I call that? Because I'm pretty sure I called that last season. Get out. Is he? So Was he? They're wonky. The ones that no one wanted. Jerry, are you comparing yourself to a carrot? <laughs> I know you don't like me, Jerry. Right. Now you have to put up with me. I don't love being here. You treat me like I'm some kind of idiotic annoyance. I choose to stay because you're all I have to. And I thought that maybe we'd learn to do more than just tolerate each other. It'd be so much better if we could have this conversation after I've eaten. You were your father's and Kenny was mine. That is how things were when we were all alive. He understood you and you him in a way I never did. And I understood Kenny and he me. So, no, you're not easy for me to understand. <laughs> no, I'm not supposed to say that. It's the truth. I can pretend to enjoy wonky carrots stew and all the other inane things that interest you, but I don't because I can't lie. I know other parents do. They tell their children they're wonderful at this and great at that. I don't have that gene. To you, I am harsh and cold, and to me, you are disappointed and expectant. Mm. Mm. But you're right, Geraldine. All we've got left is each other. So you make your stew, and I'll try and pretend to enjoy it. And while I do, you can tell me exactly what's been going on between you and Constantine. Where you've been, what you've done, and why he came to visit you. While I've been unable to lie to you, you've had no problem lying to me. I kind of like how blunt Carolyn is, you know? Well, have you been? <laughs> <laughs> oh, people stop waiting for me in the dark! Bit late for an evening stroll. That's the dude. You know, it turns out Kruger wasn't the man we were after. Then why make me stay here? His wife, Bertha. She's our focus now. Because she was stealing the funds? No, because she's dead. Whoever ordered that hit is who we want. Do you have any idea who'd want that woman dead? Why will I? Does this mean I can leave London? The job description's changed. Find out who gave that order. If there's a breach, we're both to blame. But believe me, you will be the one who will fall. The city. Back in Barcelona. Oh! Up for a game? It's not who I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's actually kind of straight. <laughs> what? Damn. Total fluke. So why you're here? Do you know who I am? I know you're working for the 12. I know you're working with her. You bowl a lot? Never. <laughs> I noticed the way Villanelle copied your first kill. She must really admire you. So whoever tried to imitate her did a really poor job. My husband's still alive. You don't talk to people when they are bullying. <laughs> that was a strike. Did they send her to kill Kenny? Do you know she's been promoted? She will never be loyal to you. She's loyal to you? I created her. Took raw shit and molded it into steel. <laughs> <laughs> she's perfect killing machine. That's all she's there for. I don't think so. She's moving up in the world. You'll never touch her now. <laughs> You'll never win at this game. You can't beat us, you understand? I can kill you anytime. End of game. She pumped Dasha. She made her flinch. Holy shit, we got a room full of flinchers. Damn, Eve. Where did that come from? Monday, <laughs> child, the father. She's off sick today. Don't worry. It's going to make you look amazing. Villain 
hell? Rookie move, dude. School's out early this year. Be ready. What the hell have you done? I'm done with it. I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? Oh, get out of here. I'm a keeper now. You get to go home. You think I get to go home after this disaster? Give it to me. Give it to me. Good. I don't want to do this anymore. Just clean yourself up and I'll order the pizza. There was a everybody that was killing you season three episode six end of game <laughs> well i guess i i think i was right on two accounts i think constantine is definitely kenny's dad and i do think irena is going to be an assassin probably going to be villanelle's assassin and she's going to be the keeper even though villanelle says she wants out villanelle really does like irena <laughs> and she got the first kill like She's just like, yeah, you should kill him. Just do it. And she's like, well, I guess if we're leaving tonight, I might as well do it, right? That's going to be interesting going forward, I suppose. I wonder <laughs> how that's going to play out. This episode was a lot better, I think, than the last one. It was more on brand. I don't like that Nico's alive. Like I said in the beginning of this, like, just let him be dead. Let him rest in peace. Like, especially after that attack, there's no way in hell he's ever going to be like at ease anywhere he's ever at so i do wish they would have killed him off there because it's only a matter of time <laughs> god damn it I, I really like carolyn and geraldine's discussion they had with each other carolyn just flat out came out and said that you know like growing up me and kenny were more in, in tune and you and your dad were more in tune and that's how we had equilibrium in the house and now that that's gone and she doesn't know how to deal with it i don't think carolyn really feels emotions like everybody else does like she said she doesn't have that gene and i think that finally geraldine did come to an understanding <laughs> however she did get blindsided by the fact that she was like uh yeah what were you doing with constantine by the way <laughs> And also that scene with Carolyn and Constantine in the car built up a lot of nerves. It had me scared for their safety a few times, but I don't know. I think Constantine might have done it or had some part in it of Kenny's death. And I think Carolyn is starting to figure that out. But I don't know because Constantine didn't know if he was Kenny's father either, but he didn't rule it out. So I don't know if he would have killed Kenny on the off chance that it was his child. Because he seems to really, really love his kids, like his biological kids. So I don't know. Could it have been the dude that is ordering Constantine around? The, the MI6 guy who also works for the 12? Could he have been the killer who killed Kenny? I hope we find out who killed Kenny this season. Although I can kind of see them making season three and season four kind of like a two-parter type of thing where the story is like overarching instead of because like every season we've had kind of like the big bad season one was like just villanelle and then season two was like the ghost and this season it's seeming to be the guy in the glasses and dasha and i also really like eve like just straight up like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with dasha literally dasha's been bowling her whole life she's like you bowl a lot and she's like no never <laughs> That just pissed her off so much. But maybe in that moment, Dasha did see what Villanelle saw in her. You know what I'm saying? That was just a good episode. I liked that. It was really funny and entertaining. And, uh, you know, thumbs up for me. <laughs> and speaking of thumbs up, if you like this reaction, drop a like down below and subscribe. And hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also stream whenever I have enough time. I guess thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're going to go outside, wear a mask, don't be an ass. And I will see you next week with more Killing Eve. Take it easy, guys. You bowl a lot? Never.